Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about how to set up and install OpenPose. In the last video, I was talking about biomechanics of cycle kicking, but I didn't really talk about how I corrected the data. So I showed you this video. So it's just the player kicking a soccer ball. And uh, I corrected the data of uh, joint positions in each frame and created this nice uh, picture and calculated some joint angles and angular velocities to analyze the soccer kicking. But how did I do that? Thankfully, there is an open source pose estimation framework called OpenPose. You can simply uh, download the OpenPose from GitHub and you can use it with a laptop. What it does basically is to cut the, the video you input into the OpenPose framework into each frame and detect the person first and estimate the joint position and the output looks like this so this is a picture uh, with overlay so input image or you input the video but like um, the frame before the processing is like this and after processing with overlay it looks like this and uh, you can store x y position of each joint and uh, you can import the data into for example matlab python or c++ whatever language you use for uh, analysis then you can analyze the biomechanics of soccer kicking but basically uh, you can use open post for any type of biome biomechanical or kinematic analysis so the next step i will demonstrate how to set up and install the open pose so let's jump into the next step all right so let's install the open pose so to find latest version of open pose you just google release open pose and uh, check the latest version so seems like uh, version 170 is the latest version so far and uh, as you can see there are two types or two versions available uh, one is gpu and another one is gpu if your laptop doesn't have gpu just choose the cpu version and uh, obviously my laptop doesn't have gpu so i'm just gonna download this uh, cpu uh, version and zip file just download it and extract the file and uh, which, which i already have done and uh, yeah inside the file check this and there is a text file which is an instruction on what you have to do the most important thing is the instruction number one here uh, double click on models uh, get the base models uh, batch file so what does it mean so you just go to uh, the same file here go to the model and there is a batch file here so you just need to double click and uh, run it so it automatically downloads the uh, model uh, necessary for the pose estimation so make sure you do this otherwise it doesn't work and I have already done, so I'm just gonna close it. So for the other instructions, uh, maybe you have to read through. And uh, as far as I understand, uh, if you want to use demo only, uh, then you just need uh, Python 2.7 or 2.4, I think 2.7. But you don't have to download CMake or uh, Visual Studio. Uh, you just need to have uh, Python. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so 
that's the prerequisite and once you have open pose uh, you open the command window run as administrator and uh, you go to the pass so uh, from the C drive I have users I have rubber and I think at this point I have open pose file oh it hasn't okay so I forgot and uh, P and finally uh, open pose and uh, at this point uh, you have to run the uh, the application so it's inside a bin file and there is a demo application you, you can run so it just go through oh here so open post demo so you just uh, go to that pass and uh, just run it and uh, if you go to open pose github uh, there is a documentation uh, which you can read through really carefully so like a documentation on the demo and for the quick start quick start uh, if you're using the windows version uh, you just like i said uh, there is a executable application here so inside the bin file so like just bin and uh, open post demo dot exe and uh, you select uh, the video and uh, you put the pass here and it runs uh, it's a quick start and but like we wanna we want to do the pause estimation and we want to extract the joint positions uh, from the detected person in the frame so we want to do something more so for example in addition to putting the video and run it uh, you can over right here so you can write the JSON file for example and you just specify uh, the file name and uh, what it does is uh, input the video and extract the uh, joint position from the detected person in the frame and save the joint position in the JSON file in this uh, file so I will uh, demonstrate in a minute and in addition to the uh, JSON file it's really good to have the picture with some overlay then uh, what you can do is uh, write images argument here and again uh, you can specify the file in the directory to speed up the process uh, you can put uh, no this like display zero so which means that uh, it doesn't show the the, the display simultaneously with uh, running the application okay so it can uh, improve the speed of the processing so the command is uh, it's, it's almost the same uh, between uh, Ubuntu and the Windows so like you can use same argument only difference is just uh, like passing the directory stuff but yeah other than that it's almost the same so I'm just gonna copy and paste of bin here or uh, I think there is a video here okay just gonna copy here and very here and I have to find the video in the file so I create the file uh, video here and put the video here I showed you in the presentation 
and uh, go back to the command window and you just type video and uh, the name of the video so for uh, and uh, this is mp4 so make sure you put mp4 here okay and uh, I want to have a JSON, so write JSON and uh, specify the file name. Uh, you can say demo JSON sub for uh, for example. And uh, uh, let me make sure uh, if this is fine. Yep, seems, seems fine, and uh, I think you have to separate the the command uh, with this uh, slash, then uh, you have to put the slash here, and uh, we want to write the image write image image and specify the file name sub for all and i want to speed up the process so i'm just gonna write okay probably i have to do the backslash here instead of whole forward slash so I'm just gonna copy this all right it's very easy to manipulate the, the command right here so forward yeah so backslash and uh, Display zero. I think this is fine. And uh, this way zero. Just yep. This should work. Then copy and paste. And hit the enter. Should work and if you look at the directory here so okay I created the, the file before but uh, it automatically creates a new file if you don't have the file and uh, if you look at the image uh, here you go. So the the application already created the image with overlay. So if you just open it, as you can see, you get a really nice, beautiful overlay with some defined uh, joint positions, and it created a, a second uh, second frame or next frame. Okay, and for the JSONs, I created a, a folder here, a JSON sub for R, and uh, it has JSON files like here. So with the CPU version, it takes takes really long time. So probably you just run it overnight. To finish, uh, like one minute uh, video, uh, it depends on like how many frames you have, but uh, it takes time uh, with the CPU version. So uh, just be patient. And uh, I have already run this, so I'm just gonna finish this.
and so the output looks like this for the image so like this there are so many images right here and if you want to just go through you can check like this so moving 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 yeah there are some uh mistakes or it's really tough to see the other side of the arm uh, from this view so uh open pose missed uh detection here but like uh for the biomechanical analysis of uh Sucker kicking, uh, it's not really necessary to identify elbow and uh, wrist joint positions. But otherwise, it's nicely uh, detected. So, check this. And uh, for the JSON files, uh, you get a uh, corresponding uh, number. Of frames and uh, you can process uh, this data with MATLAB, Python, uh, uh, whatever, but I, I will do it in the next video. Thanks for watching my video and uh, see you in the next my YouTube video. See you!